Hi, my name is John Budden, and I'm with the Shutter Priority Imaging Center. For this demonstration, we'll have the room lights on, just so we can uh, videotape it. Uh, normally, you're going to have to have be in complete darkness or use a red safe light. What we're going to talk about is how to develop prints, and we're going to concentrate on black and white process. That's about the only thing you really can do at home without having great expenses. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with paper. After your paper has been exposed to light, we're going to put it in our developer step first. We put it in our developer step, and typically you're going to want to agitate the tray so you get a good developing process going. Typically, the time is very critical on this, and you'll find this in the instructions of your developer. Once it's developed, we're going to go into a stop bath solution. This stop bath solution, what this does is it stops the developing process, so you fix the image in. From there, we go into what we call our fixer, which actually will make the paper non-light sensitive anymore, and it will fix the image in permanently. The fixers goes in, um, and you're going to agitate the chemistry here again, so you get a good, good solution over, so nothing ever, you know, so that you got a good uh, solution level, so the chemical process will work much better. Once the fixer is done, we're going to be putting it in, in our wash. Typically, your wash will last a couple minutes, and all that you want to wash your paper and get all all the chemistry out of it. And it's important to do this step for the fact that this is going to keep make it very permanent. Once you're completely washed, your print is ready for drying. So we'll put this in a drying rack as such, and that's how we process black and white paper.